is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, thank you for taking my call. I wanted to good let morning. you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family, so that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, September 17th. You got to love it. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women out there. Some will make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only to be like a key and a lock, a match that works. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 167, NASDAQ off 160, S&P's off 41, gold contract down $2.70, trading at 1754 an ounce. We got silver down 34 cents, $22.45 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 53 cents, $72.08 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note. Down nine ticks, trading 132.25. The 30 year off 25 at 162.20 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 257 ticks, trading at 93.189. Euro 117. Yen 109.91. The British pound 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, Bottom line is that we get option expiration. You get, you know, we've been doing ABC structures on the NDX 100 up for so long. It's been amazing. Now, this is the first ABC structure on the way down. That's what we have set up here. And if we take a look at it, what you're going to see, first we'll start with the SPY. You're going to see we're breaking the B point. I mean, 78 million shares. You're already at 80. So your A point out here is the high, 454. Your B point is uh, 454. 43.28, so let's just say, uh, what is that, fit? approximately 11 points. C is at the 448, so you got uh, 437, and we're at 441. The next swing down here is 4, well, 436, so we're going to that swing. That swing we're talking about, uh, that's down at the uh, August 19th area. NDX 100, we get Harmony in the marketplace doing the same thing. Uh, NDX 100 took out its... B point, took it out with volume. B point here was 373.37. Uh, we're at 373.30. When I just started the, uh, the I did the update, uh, we weren't down here. This, they're pushing it down right now. Uh, we needed the volume of uh, 34 million. You already got 43 million. So you're blowing that away. Uh, your A point out here is uh, 382.71. Your B is 373.37. What did I say? So you get nine bucks. That gets you down to uh, 369. And your swing point down here is three. Well, the top of the swing point is 365. Your strength is 368. Bottom line, we're going lower. You get the expansion of volume. You get the roll taking place in spades. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here today. You got the strength, the zooms up 2.6%. You got Baidu up 1%. Taken away from it. Moderna is off 6% or $25. You get uh, Copart off uh, 450, 4.5% uh, rather, or $690. Qualcomm's off 3.5%, of $4.60. And ASLML is off 3% at $28.69. What's also putting some heat on this, and this was fast and furious on the way down. Uh, it's not even in the top 10 because. Uh, you have other equities that are going down, but Microsoft. Microsoft's down 504. 
Uh, that has a big uh, implication, no, no doubt, inside of the NDX 100 as well as the Dow. Uh, Apple, oh, check it out, man. Okay, we're going to start spelling ABC downs now. Apple's an ABC down, blowing away a B point. Okay, watch this one. Whoa, baby. 157, 146, 157 what? 157.26, 146, so approximately 11 bucks. And that's going to bring Apple 136. And you're at 146 right now. So 136 is the, is the number. And that baby there at 136, this would be pretty intense because that would break the whole consolidation. So if Apple breaks the whole consolidation, folks, we're, we're going to see some real problems here. Um, because then you would take the 141 to the 157, and you get 16 away from the 141, which gives you what? 136. And 130, yeah, 136 brings you to the top of the next range down, okay? So pretty wild, man. There's no doubt about it. Um, okay, so let's go look at the GDX. One of the tigers out here are looking at the GDX and thinking that it's real possible that we may have uh, an ABC structure down on the weekly. I don't think we do because I know what we're going into. And... I see what he's saying, though. Okay. Yeah. 3065. One second. Hold on. But where would be, there'd be a small one if that's it. Because you can't take the whole, you, you wouldn't take the whole thing. All it would be, it would be from 3582. Well, that's still five bucks. And that would be, uh, that would line you up at 2852. You got 3068. Yeah. Yeah, that could be. Uh, so the question, the question is, is that an ABC structure down on the, in the GDX on a weekly? And it very well could be. It's a small one, though. It's not from the high. The reason it's not from the high is that when you, when you take these, okay, we went, you know, we came down hard on the week of the uh, 18th, and then you went sideways. So you take your A point on this would be the uh, 36, 3582. Your B point is the 3068, so you get five bucks which you get to 2852. We'll see how that shakes out. Because what we're also doing here, you can see, and this, I actually, when these happen, it's kind of pretty cool because you're going against more than just the bottom of the consolidation. The bottom of this consolidation here is uh, 3064, and you had volume of uh, 152 million, and we're only going to do, one, well, 129 right now. So we're not, we're not going to make that. So it's going to, really depend on where we close. If the ND, if the GDX can close at over 3064, that's saying that you got a rejection of lower price into the lower swing with lighter volume. We'll see whether uh, <laughs> it, we can catch a bid. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 191, NASDAQ's off 173, S&P's off 44, we'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 180. Nasdaq's up 165. S&P's are up 43. Let's go over to the note and bond market and take a look at the note and bond market. So in the 10-year right now, you're trading down 10 ticks. Now, we've rolled contracts here, so i got to look at something else, actually. So what we've done here is this. You broke a swing. You've rejected lower price. And one. 3221 is the number you got to keep your eye on. Uh, we close over that, that still wants higher price. And right now you're at 132.25. We go to the 30 year, and we take a look at the 30 year. The way the 30 year is set up, you're down 24 ticks. You have 334,000 contracts. So you haven't made it to the lows yet. And the 30 year right now. You know, you, you're going into 493,000 and you're still above it. Uh, that low there was 163.18. We got to uh, 162.18, rather. We got to 162.08 and rejected it. So this is a rejection of lower price with lighter volume. And then if we take a look, the Tiger has the TLT. The TLT set up nice, man. Uh, the 20 year plus has rejected lower price out here today. I mean, you know, we went up uh, Monday. You, Monday, uh, no, Tuesday. You go up Tuesday at 19 million, you're back today with 9 million. That still wants higher price. And you can see you're going into uh, 20 million. Yeah. So that game is still on there for higher price. I mean, it's something that you're going to have to keep your eye on. Um, but the aspect of uh, rates going up, you can see. So, so picture this, folks, okay? <laughs> Just today, this is not a big correction, okay? But let me tell you something. Uh, all you need is a couple days of this. And, you know, the Fed will start getting nervous again. Everyone's going to think that, okay, they're going to come in with bread again. And they are. That's the bottom line. Um, and the aspect of when they're going to go up on rates. So the last time, uh, you know, they, they're, they're pushing out there again. Well, news-wise. News-wise, it's saying, okay, they might start tapering in November and then go up in 2023. We'll see where it shakes out. My take right now is that, we're going to be lower for longer. And the reason I'm saying that, um, first off, I'm saying exactly what the Fed is saying. And secondly, and this is, I think, the biggest part of it, if they turned around and went up on interest rates right now, okay, and they start, stop their buying, bond buying program. So picture, they have 100, $120 billion a month that they buy. It's $80 million in treasuries. It's $40 million in mortgage-backed securities. If they stopped that right now, this market would freaking tank so bad. They, it, they'd, by the end of the day, they'd come out with something, uh, uh, 
a press release saying rates are never going to go up again. I'm only joking, folks. But there'd be some kind of a press release, let me tell you, um, <laughs> that would be uh, just about as intense. They, we have gone so far off the deep end, meaning on, you know, like if I go back in time in my trading career, you know, it used to be the Alan Greenspan put, then it was the Bernanke put, and now it's not even a put. Now, now, now it's a deal that they are in such a corner um, that I just don't see how they're going to go up on rates. And as I brought up uh, many times before, I don't think they have to go up on rates because our rates are still really high. Okay, the 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 ten year right now is one point three six. Germany is a negative. So why Germany? So picture this: if we give the United States, okay, if we give them, let's say we give them uh, ten thousand bucks, okay, we get back one hundred and thirty dollars, you know, in, in ten years, right? If we give Germany ten thousand dollars, right? We get back. We don't get anything. We get back nine thousand eight hundred and uh, no nine thousand nine hundred and like eighty two dollars. <laughs> like really? Okay. So you, you can see that the the correlation there. It's pretty intense. The Netherlands, that's still in negative. Uh, France, France might as well be in negative. Okay. You, you get the gist of it. The, the gist of it has to do with the aspect of actually how high rates are across the world. If we, go, if we do this exercise on a 30-year, it gets even more intriguing. Look, look at this 30-year, man. We're, we're at 1.9, and Germany's still at 0.21. <laughs> Switzerland, man. <laughs> I, they just must be so strong, it's insane. Switzerland on the 30-year is just slightly in the negative. So you give someone, you give a government your money for 30 years, and then you'll slightly get a little less back, okay? Now, if you're questioning why anyone would do that, we've explained it a few times, but it has to do with the balance sheet of insurance companies. It also has to do with traders, because if they think rates are gonna go lower, those prices will actually go higher. That's how that shakes out. Let's go take a look at a couple of the gold equities and all our, us gold bulls out here, we're grasping for anything, folks. Um, the first one we're going to take a look at is uh, when I say hey, we're grasping for anything, we're grasping for any type of a bounce. Uh, the low is 793, the high is 1449. Uh, El Dorado is up six cents. That's not bad. Does it mean anything? I don't think so. Uh, you know what we've what we've done. And when I say I don't think so, when you get a sign of strength, what happens? You need a lot more than six cents. Uh, what we have got in El Dorado is you got a rejection of lower price at 794, which is great, okay? Because we went to 793, we rejected it, and we're going to have, let's see, that one there is 8.1. We got 8.5, and you still, well, okay, so watch how this goes. This is just like the GDX. We, on the small swing, you have higher volume. On what you're going into, however, you get tremendously lighter volume. We have, we're going into 19 million on a weekly, and you got 8.5. Uh, another one as First Majestic. I think these are the only two metal stocks up today. Now, I like this move in First Majestic. Uh, it, it, it's almost the same move, but this is what happened with First Majestic. AG is this. So first Majestic, first off, didn't get to its low. The low in First Majestic is 11.53. We got down to 11.81. You did that with 6.2 million shares versus 7.8. So this is a decent setup, man. I mean, when I, when I say a decent setup, what I'm talking about, uh, if you're ready for a bounce, okay, and you get a bounce, it's going to be pretty cool because we just went straight down from $18.93 at the beginning of June, and the low was established four weeks ago at 11.53. We hit 11.86, you know, so... That set up there saying, yeah, we might be able to get something going. Let's go take a look at the SLV because what we did have there is that, so the SLV is lower, man. Yeah, so that's, that's down 46 cents. You get 41 million shares traded. This is coming against 336 million 
versus 166. Man, this is, this is a trip. And it could be a bad one. <laughs> right now, it's not a bad trip, but it's, it's pretty close. The SLV, what do we make it down to? 2069, 2045 is the low at 336,000, no, a million shares. Well, we're down here on one half the volume. You're gonna, you're gonna need more selling than this. That's the real bottom line. But what we also need is that we need a rejection of lower price. That's where this whole thing is shaken out. Dow Industrials right now down 186. Nasdaq's up 159. S&P's up 41. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 185. We've got the Nasdaq up 164. S&Ps are up 42. Let's go inside the Dow and see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. And we take a look at this uh, point weakness. You have uh, Goldman Sachs putting negative 37, Microsoft 33, CAT 25, Visa 20. Uh, positive UNH, uh, United Health, uh, positive 10, Home Depot positive 5, and Procter Gamble positive 4. So there's not much action uh, inside of the Dow Industrials at all. Uh, what, what is it really intriguing there is that when you actually take a look at the uh, Dow Industrials, you know, you get Microsoft up there, but it's surprising that I believe that Apple's in the Dow, too. Maybe, maybe not. But the bottom line is that Apple's in an ABC structure on the way down, which is going to be problematic in a huge way. Because uh, 
you start, there's so many people that own Apple, folks, okay, um, that you start breaking down on Apple, um, you know, <laughs> there's going to be people flat out that uh, start moving out of that stock pretty quickly. Let me just show you something here. This is what is pretty wild that, and this is why you got to pay attention to percentage moves, right? If we just take, let's just take the last six months. If I take the last six months, a normal retracement brings you down to 143. That's just a, a 0.382. Well, actually, a normal retracement is 50% of the last move. That's 138. And at 138, that doesn't seem like a lot, but at, at a high of 152, if you bought around there, which many people for, definitely bought from, uh, the, what is this, 150. 150 to 145. And the reason I'm saying that is that because we were, we're we were in a consolidation uh, for a long period of time, well, for two months. So when you're in a consolidation like that, there's no doubt folks like to, you know, you buy the bottom of the consolidation, sometimes you sell the top of it, sometimes you just buy the bottom because you, you want to stay in the trade and you want to basically stay in for a long period of time. The thing that's weird about Apple, I don't think they pay a dividend. Yeah, they, oh, they do, 0 0.60. Come <laughs> uh, some of these companies get away with murder. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing that you have an Apple that that's all they pay and watch this. I mean, they're telling you they're not growing anymore. When we, when we pull this up, they are growing. Like when you see this, these are all three-year numbers. So in America, they're growing by 2.5%, 2.34 uh, a year. Europe, like 2.1. Greater China, they, they're contracting by 1.1% per year. Japan, they're growing by 2.1%. And the rest of Asia, they're growing by uh, almost 3%. But that's, a, that's small numbers, man, for a growth company for what, let me see, what we're paying up for Apple. So Apple, you're paying up, it's actually not that bad. No, it's not bad at all, actually. You're only paying $26 for a buck. Yeah, you can see that that's, that's your earnings per share, 26 for a buck's not bad, but it, it's still pretty expensive because what you are doing, you just, if you take the 26%, you take the minus three, guess what? You're still paying 23%, um, 20, well, $23 for $1 of income. Amazon, let's go take a couple, look at a couple of the other big dogs up here. Uh, Amazon, today's strong for a down market. It's only down $28, trading $34.60. We take a look at Google. Google's down. Okay, so Google's breaking its swing. 28.34. We just broke its swing. So Google's going to try to get into uh, this 27.07. Right now you're 28.31. What you're going to want to do over the weekend, folks, okay, is some of these high flyers or some of these stocks that basically came down hard today, uh, you want to check it out to see whether there are ABC structures on the way down because uh, we have a bunch of them out there. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Hey, Frank, what's going on, man? Hey, hey Tommy, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, just fine. Fall's coming in, and uh, things are doing good. I can't believe fall's coming in, because I felt like, I mean, I know I haven't talked to you in about six weeks, but, man, that was really quick. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's like we took the air conditioner out one day, and uh, we were throwing the blankets on the bed the next. I know, man. Well, you know what's so intriguing, man? I remember just spring's coming. You're out there looking at those beautiful rocks, and then the summer's yeah. here, and then all of a sudden falls here, man. This time, this yeah. time deal is pretty wild, folks. I mean, yeah. they say you That's know you sure. can't get time back, but I'm telling you, it it definitely does accelerate. You know, every day yeah. I feel like I blink and the day's over, man. <laughs> well, I know it. I know it. And the market's a mess. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. <laughs> well, you know, hey. it, it is. This is what the scary thing is, right? You know. I was, Tommy and I were talking this morning, and he gave me some numbers about, like, if you, if you take a look at the market, folks, okay, as to how long it took you to get your money back and from the year 2000. It took, like, 20 years to get your money back from the year 2000, okay? Yeah. And then, but guess what? If you, if you bought in 2009, of course, 2008, you accelerated beyond belief, okay? And then, of course, if you bought at COVID, you accelerated beyond belief. So the real... The real question here goes like this. It's like, hey, I, let me put the shot on this side because when you look at this chart, this is a scary looking chart, man. This, and what I mean by that is that 
when you've done, let's say, I put this on a monthly. When you see this, man, this is like hard to comprehend. And you got to take into consideration, look at this thing, man. I mean. What do we got here? You know, I mean, in 2009, you got a low of 666. We're at 4435. You know, you had a major pullback, okay, so when we, you know, in March of the COVID. But other than that, you're still almost, you know, you're almost parabolic, man. So it's like, okay, man, yeah. you know, just a normal pullback could be some trouble. And then the real question is, we're so used to markets continually going up. You know, if we get a market that is like after 2000, it's really a bummer. Um, you know, it, it's anyway, let's go take a look at the CSQ for you. CSQ. So what do we have yeah, here? Thank you. Okay. Well, this is an interesting little fund. Its holdings are all the big dogs that you like to talk about. Okay. Uh, four percenters are Apple and Microsoft, uh, three percent of Amazon, Google is two percent. Oh, yeah. Facebook is one and a half, AMAT, NVIDIA, JP Morgan, uh, Bank of America, all one percenters. Yeah, um, I, like, I like what's inside here. I can see it. I have it up. Okay, cool, man. Okay. And they pay a five percent dividend. Wow. That I know it is huge a five percent yeah. dividend folks if you know it, it's huge man i mean the cool thing about dividends folks okay is that no matter if the stock stays flat you're getting paid um what i would do i mean do you own this frank you're looking to buy it i i own i've owned a little bit of it for a long time okay and uh you know i'm i'm waiting for to buy more when the market dips yeah, no, I think you're going to be able to get it somewhere around 1753. It, the benchmark here, Frank, is on July 19th, as okay. the market is also. Do you know what I mean? And now what, what's happening today is that we're breaking a B point, but it doesn't look like you're going to get the volume. You need another 10,000 shares, and this is not that liquid. But, you know, if you do break that B point with that uh, 100 and Eight eighty nine thousand today. Then this lines up nineteen. Yeah, it still only lines up seventy five cents off of. Uh, so it still lines up eighteen. Uh, nineteen seventy five. Yeah, I'd keep your eye on the uh, the nineteenth of July, Frank. Okay. Cooking, Got brother. It. Thank you. Great to hear from you, man. Have a great one. Have a safe you one. Too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at tfnn.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industries down 170. Nasdaq's up 142. S&Ps are off 40. Our guest today, folks, is Veshnavi Moore. Veshnavi is the founder and CEO of ArchState. ArchState util utilizes AI programming in order to best fit applicants looking for jobs in the architectural or engineering field when the available jobs are open. So all our engineers out there, all you architects out there, whether you're looking for a job, whether you own those firms, it's a heads up. Veshnavi, welcome to TFNN. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So, so tell us uh, about your company. And you, you definitely, uh, I mean, the executive recruiters must be going out of their mind because I looked at your pricing out here and, you know, executive recruiters make quite a bit of money. But first, first of all, tell us, tell us about your company and tell us who it helps and how it helps them. Yeah, so I am the founder and CEO at Artslate. Artslate is an AI-based platform that is bringing the power of one click to hiring for the architecture, engineering, and construction industry. Okay. Uh, so basically, when you think about unemployment or there being a talent shortage, the root cause of it all is that we don't have the infrastructure to make a hiring decision within a couple of hours. That's what we do. Traditionally, it takes like, you know, up to 52 days to make a single hiring decision. And through our platform, you can end up hiring a candidate within a matter of three hours. So, you know, that's a lot of jobs created and, uh, and the employers on the other side get the right talent for their firm uh, and are re ready to begin uh, roll out the construction. Um, and, and yeah. I guess in your business, too, I mean, the engineers and architects, they can work for almost anywhere, right? I mean, I'm sure some of them, they want them in the office, but, I mean, that definitely is a type of job that you just, you know, you're hiring knowledge, right? Uh, that's what the market is trending towards, you know, especially with the pandemic. Uh, the way we work has changed. You know, people are more adaptable to new innovation. People are adaptable to new technologies, and people are open-minded now. So you can basically work uh, from anywhere, virtually or remote, and still get your productivity and construction done. And where do you see the most amount of demand in the country right now? Is there is there certain sections of the country that are doing better than other sections? Yes, that's exactly where we are. Uh, Florida is one of the fastest growing states in the nation. And Tampa slash St. Pete, there's so much architecture, construction, buildings, housing going on. So this uh, area is definitely booming where we are located right now. Well, I'm so glad you moved from California to Tampa. <laughs> and you know, it's yeah. pretty wild. I'm actually a builder. And I, my architect this morning, I had, this is, this is, you know, real life folks, okay? The bottom line, Zoom works. Whether you're, you're looking at the buildings, whether you start moving stuff around, um, I had an hour meeting with them this morning. It was just really interesting that, I mean, that you were on today because there's no doubt that, you know, I don't need a face-to-face, -face, you know, because most of the time we've been all doing this a long time. You know what you're looking for. So that, that's pretty cool. And talk to me about you know, the, the pricing structure you have is really inexpensive. I mean, this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hire enough people, um, you know, to, to hire a high-end engineer or architect with we're talking only like three or four hundred bucks you know 
That's what it looks like, right? In order to basically be part of your system? Exactly. So that's what is our differentiator. Um, what makes us different is we benefit both sides of the marketplace. That is, we benefit the employers as well as the employees. Uh, in a traditional recruiting, if you're recruiting an architect slash engineer for 100000 uh, a recruiter would charge the company 25%, which means 25000 in his pocket, and that salary comes off from your hardworking employees. So your employee would end up getting just 75000 uh, which, uh, you know, when he deserves a lot more. Uh, that's where we come into the picture where we say, you know, hey, stop, you, got to, you don't need to do that. We are here to help both the sides, creating a transparent, streamlined marketplace. And the reason that we are able to do that, because we have created a process that's automated using AI. So we are not ending up using any manual um, slash labor into the process. That's what allows us to be economical for both the sides. Now, do let's say if I was an architect and, and I'm coming on there and I want someone to hire me, what do I just put up my, my whole resume inside of there, everything else that I thought is pertinent in order to get a job, and that's what the employer is seeing on the other side? Yes, so we have everything uh, to help you as a fresh candidate. You can just come here, upload your resume. We also have a portfolio feature where, you know, you can just drag and drop your images. We convert it to a beautiful portfolio. And our whole goal is to show the best sides of you to an employer. So once we have your details in there, we the system will automatically match you to the deserving opportunities that you have in. And, you know, it will prompt you to apply to those. The system will screen you, and you can receive an offer within 24 hours. Now, you also have on here what I thought was really cool, particularly in the architectural firms, because I'm more familiar with that than the engineering firms. There are 40,000 architectural firms in the U.S. Only 11% are known. Make your firm count. I, and I, there's no doubt about that. I mean, there's, there's many firms that, you know, are small but are dynamic firms, right? Exactly. That's what our goal is. You know, um, in the U.S. alone, people just know the top 25 or 30 firms, but there are actually 40,000 architecture firms and 700,000 architecture engineering construction firms, which are doing great work off the radar and people don't know them. Uh, and, you know, that's where we come in to diversify the workforce innovation platform, diversify the companies that are there on the platform. Uh, and create an identity for the firms that are working off the radar. And that's pretty cool because, you know, most folks, I mean, unless you're a very large builder, I mean, you don't want a large architectural firm, right? I mean, because they're just, you're just not set up for it. In fact, you couldn't, you couldn't afford it. <laughs> that's what it really comes exactly. down to. Yeah, right. Pretty cool. So let's talk about the engineering aspect. Now, when we're talking engineering, we're talking about, like, engineering, software engineering, construction engineering, uh, what are we talking on the engineering front? So we are talking everything in the building industry. So we are talking nice. about site engineers. We yep. are talking about civil engineers. We are talking about site supervisors, general contractors, everything that's related with the building slash infrastructure industry. So because architecture, engineering, construction cannot function without each other. They are all interdependent. Yeah, oh, there's no doubt. I mean... Yeah, engineers are really important. Where's that water runoff? <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you, I know. Well, listen, this has been a pleasure. We really appreciate you coming on, appreciate the education. We're so happy you're in uh, Tampa St. Pete. Uh, and the site, folks, is archslate.com. It's A-R-C-H-S-L-A-T-E. Uh, listen, we really appreciate it. You have a great weekend, safe weekend. Of course, we look forward to having you on again. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Appreciate it. Bye. That's where we're going, folks. The bottom line is that, uh, you know, she's, I'm sure there's, there's probably a few other firms like this, but you talk about a destruction of uh, uh, one business for another. Uh, it's a lot easier paying $350 per month versus 25% uh, of the pay. There's no two ways about that. Dow Industrials right now down 186. You get the NASDAQ off 149. S&Ps are off 43. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials are uh, off uh, 183. We got the NASDAQ uh, down 147. S&Ps are off 44. And the setup here, folks, is ABC structures on the way down. And uh, this is this is in the context of the Fed meeting uh, next week. So <laughs> this is going to be something else, man. Um, there's, there's no doubt about this. Uh, you know, what, what you have uh, is that you are coming into the B point in the spies. You only needed 78 million to get 95. It broke it. That's another that's an ABC structure on the way down. We go take a look at the. Uh, <clears throat> The Qs, the Qs are down uh, $4. They, they needed a uh, volume of $34 million to get $49 million. That's breaking it. <coughs> and one of our tigers, uh, this is pretty cool, actually. <coughs> when you take a look at the mining stocks, uh, what you also have is that the feds are considering charging royalties for the mining on fed lands. Now, what's so wild about that, normally this comes up. I've seen this come up three or four times in the past 20 years. Bro. But normally that comes up one when in fact you have gold and silver going exponential this time we don't have it going exponential um and we'll see uh how this deal actually shakes out i know that they can't just change it well they can change it overnight for the new ones that are out there but these contracts are pretty solid meaning that if you and i went out we go to nevada we we put big money uh into the structure uh Bottom line is that the companies that are out there, I'd say, would be out there. 
new companies, yeah, that make a difference, you know. And I, I, I can I can see why people have beefs, okay? Because what does happen in this business, meaning in the mining business and the licensing of it, um, there's a whole business that's predicated on the deal. Like if we if we grew up in Nevada as kids, I suspect we'd be running around trying to look at claims because you can go to the claim office and get a claim. I think it's for it's shot money. It's less than a hundred bucks. That's the bottom line. And then, you know, you, you've claimed it and, you know, you, you have to do something with it. You just can't lay on it. But uh, it's pretty wild. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Thanks for being here. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning, 9 o'clock. Great show. Have a great weekend, folks. Look at him, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market.